Okay, so we're showing the um, TS480, and today it's the one with the um, two power leads that go on the back. So a lot of cabling goes into um, making one of these things work. I've actually got it upside down there at the moment, but uh, as the uh, module. This is the TA, uh, sorry, the TS480 HX, and um, because of my monitor at the moment, I've only got it set up at um, 100 watts. But the real question is, do they do 200 watts? So I've got both power leads hooked up. And I'm on FM at the moment, so we're just on the 100 watt, 106 watts. Okay, that's, uh, that's definitely doing sort of power that it should be. But uh, before we get on to having a play with the, the 200 watt side of it, let's uh, put this on right on 7 megs. And we're on dummy load here. Put that one over there. Oops, that'll do. And we might just go to sideband for something a bit different for... Where are we? Oops. Need to be able to see this, don't I? LSB. Alright. Curious to get a signal into it. And, um, uh, this is, um, <laughs> our new updated R2001. We've, uh, we've made one out of two, and, uh, thank you very much. You know who you are down in Melbourne. Uh, that was, um, uh, fortunately expressed up to me, uh, with my father in law, so much appreciated because that um, uh, got me out of trouble. And um, I haven't got the perfect unit yet, but it doesn't matter, it's okay. You know, we're, we're getting a lot closer and um, your unit definitely helped to make another one sort of survive. All right, so let's have a bit of a look here. Uh, and let me get this set up. Righto, run seven megs. I was on 7125 before, not real smart. I'm down at 0.2 of a microvolt there. I'm just gonna take it down uh, sorry, up, sorry, to about 0 0.6. Yeah, receiving beautifully. That's, um, even though we've got a, this is a different um, unit, and it's still a little bit notchy, but better than what we had, I can tell you, so that's, that's sort of good. Um, uh, now let's have a look there. Yeah, look at the signal coming up there. Wow. And 50 microvolts. Beautiful. All right, well. That unit is receiving like a charm, and um, that's exactly what we want to do. They're um, they're becoming rare these um, <clears throat> these units. The um, the 480 HXs. I mean, you'll get an SAT every day of the week. I'm trying to get that to sit there. Uh, you'll get an SAT every day of the week, but um, getting a um, uh, 480 HX is becoming a, a very difficult um, process. All right, now to do this, I'm going to have to hook up into a different meter and a different dummy load. Um, I'm going to use my um, where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm going to use my two kilowatt dummy load sitting over there on the floor, the mess, and um, just uh, put a meter onto that. Okay, well, it's just set up one of my birds, and um, uh, I thought we'll give that a bit of a go. Now, this will be probably, this is not a peak reading meter, so we'll just see where we go there. Oh, about 175. 175 out of the 200. Now, keep in mind, uh, the current draw on this thing, I'm actually just having to use a couple of supplies here. I've, I've got my bigger... 120 amp supply over there, which I should have pulled over to be honest. Now let's see if I drop the other power supply off. Yeah, it drops quite considerably. Yeah, interesting that. So, um, really, I really should be using my biggest power supply, but look, I'm happy with that, that um, we're just getting a bit of a supply issue to that. Uh, with uh, I just haven't got the room at the moment to bring this other bloody supply over here. It's a big mess. Anyway, that's, um, that gives us a little bit to uh, give us an idea of, and um, Oh, let's have a look here. So, if I take that back down to 100, in theory, our bird meter reads right on 100. See, yeah. So the meter's actually quite accurate. The current supply to these radios is really essential. You've got to get every bit of, you know, sort of probably 60 or 70 amps to it. Um, uh, uh, probably not that much. Probably 50 amps. No, probably more like up to 50 amps uh, to it. I'm only supplying... Uh, at the moment, oh geez, <laughs> maybe 40 to 45, that's the problem, I really should bring that other supply, but for the um, the idea, now let's just see where the current starts to, starts to cut in, I reckon at 150 watts will be fine, yeah, just start to sort of sense the current capabilities there, um, and that's drawing about um, 25 amps here. And um, yeah, that's when my supply starts to show its weakness um, after that, unfortunately, because we then go up 
and yeah, no, nah, that's, and if I turn that other supply on, hang on, and I'm just trying to add it, a couple of amps to it, uh, we, yeah, we're getting there, we're just not quite there, <laughs> about 175 um, uh, out of the 200 that we're getting out of that, so, um, now these are not PP, so when I go to sideband, hello, oh, hello, yeah, it's going to look terrible, one, two, hello, oh, yeah, sideband's always going to look a bit terrible, <laughs> Um, I've actually got a PEP bird meter. Um, Rob actually sorted that out for me. I just haven't got the batteries charged at the moment, which is a pity because that would have been the perfect meter to show show that on test. But um, anyway, all right. Well, look, yeah, very good. Um, just remember when you're using one of these test sets here to um, just be a bit careful uh, to keep your power down to um, you know around 100 watts. Um, so if I flick that back to 100, let's put the, put it back into the monitor again. Okay, so. When we're running uh, 100, now we're on 7, let's go to 7 exactly, 7, 7 megs, and we should be able to hear something here, we go to FM, yep, drop the microphone, good one, hang about, I've got these very long microphone cords on these things with the, um, the fact that you might have the, the unit under the, uh, under the um, seat. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, that's 104 watts there, beautiful, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, you don't want to do that too long as your analyzers um, on FM. Uh, at uh, they'll, they'll take up to about 125 watts, but you know, obviously your dummy load is getting warm every second that you sit there going, counting to 100, count to five. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look, these are a lovely little radio. They really are. And um, the fact that, you know, you can sort of just have 200 watts in the mobile, uh, you know, that's, that's a, a lovely power to upgrade to. Um, yeah, you know, 3 dB, you're doubling your power, you know, from... Um, for 100 watts, it's it's a nice uh, nice way to go, and um, I just um, I just wish we had a bit more room at the moment. We're we're doing a reorganisation of this workshop, and the big 120 amp supply will be in place very soon. But I feel very confident that with the 120 amp in place, um, uh, it'd um, it'd definitely do um, uh, 200 watts um, quite easily. Okay, so how many of you thought he's just going to leave this video at 175 watts and be happy? Yeah, not me. So. We're disconnected. We're up to 200 watts. I've got the big bastard here. <laughs> I thought, right oh, let's have a look. Why not? Um, I haven't even clicked it yet, so let's just see what it does. Hopefully very close to 200 watts, I'd say, on FM carrier. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yep. There you go. Hook it up to the right supply, and you will get the right power out of these things. So, um, yep. Uh, don't mind it sort of sitting on its face at the moment. It's just, I'm out of space and uh, anyway. But there you go. Uh, 200 watts going into my 2 kilowatt dummy load over there. I can do this all day on that dummy load, no problems. Wow. So they really do 200 watts. Um, so there you go. That's, I just thought, you know what? You're all going to doubt me that it was my power supply causing it. And I would rightly so. And I thought, well, maybe if I just... Uh, pull my finger out and actually um, chuck the, the big power supply on and uh, give it a bit of a burst and and I think that was the wise thing to do, um, not be so lazy and I, you know what, today it'll get me motivated to put this in, I've got to build some very nice big thick leads uh, to run off this thing, look at the size of the terminals on these and uh, this was actually Bill's uh, VK2KT's um, old power supply and unfortunately Bill passed away um, in the last year and uh, we really miss Bill. Nice to have a, a bit of his gear in the shack, of course, but um, yeah. Well, certainly one mega, mega grunty 200 watt, geez. That seriously is doing 200 watts without even trying with the right power supply. They're, uh, they're a neat little radio. All right, well, thanks very much for persevering with me, mucking around with power supplies and uh, having a bit of a play. As you can see, they're totally flexible, these radios between zero and I think it's five watts actually. Let's have a look. Five watts. Have a quick look. Oh. Five and yep, five watts and right up to two hundred watts, um, like so. And um, they have a great processor. They look. They're just an all-round good radio. So um, yeah, if you're looking for a two hundred watt radio, uh, this one's not available. But um, this is a good radio to uh, to certainly consider. So yeah, no emails on this one. Um, uh, in regards to uh, wanting to buy it, um, that's um, not on the table this one, but uh, certainly um, thanks for having a look at this video and we certainly uh, will uh, bring a few interesting radios like this to you again very soon. 
Cheers all, VK3, Charlie Mike, Tangambalanga, North East Victoria. All the best.